Okay, today I'm going to show you a quick and easy dessert that's perfect for Christmas dinner. Lemon and cranberry custard. Let's begin. First thing we need to do is weigh out 300 grams of sugar. Next, we're going to weigh out the same amount of cream. I'm going to add the eggs, put eight whole eggs in the mixture, and around this time we want to preheat our oven, uh, 250 Fahrenheit or 120 Celsius. Now we're going to juice five lemons, and we're going to pass the juice through a strainer. Another option as well is to add some lemon zest, but it's not necessary. Okay, we're going to mix this well. I'm leaving the lemon juice aside for now. I'm going to add that right before we portion, because it is possible the acid from the lemon juice will cause this to separate. Now I'm going to begin portioning. Place about one tablespoon of cranberry sauce at the bottom of each bowl and completely cover with the mixture. We are now going to add some water to the pan. We want it to be the same level as the mixture inside the bowls. Okay, now we're ready to go in the oven. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes and I've taken these out just to check them. The best way to check them is to use a thermometer. Insert your thermometer into the center of your custards, which should still be liquid at this point. And once you reach 70 degrees Celsius or 158 degrees Fahrenheit, that's the perfect temperature. The custards are still liquid at this point, but once they cool down, they will be the perfect texture. Something that I should also mention with this recipe is that you probably want to try and use a thicker bowl or a large ramekin, something like that. If you use a thin uh, bowl that's fragile, there, there is a chance it might crack. You should just keep that in mind. Okay, our custards have now chilled. I'm just dusting with a bit of icing sugar there. I'm going to garnish with uh, some red currants and some verbena leaves. If you don't have access to red currants or verbena, uh, you use any other type of berry you want. Um, just keep in mind the custard and the cranberry sauce are sweet. And I find that uh, a sour berry is a nice touch with this. It sort of balances this up. We're now ready to serve. Look at that. This is a perfect dessert for Christmas dinner. You can prepare this ahead of time. It's super easy. You can keep it in the fridge and it's waiting for you until you're ready to serve. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you'd like to see further recipes and techniques, please like and subscribe. Happy cooking.